have this basic model in Nomad. And uh, if you're using Nomad Sculpt, very easy process. As long as you just download the JPEGs uh, of the files to your iPad in some form, should be very easy to find. You're just going to click uh, this guy up here. And you're going to go to the stamp tool. And by default, it'll be dragging out just a bunch of squares. That's the only thing that's included with Nomad. Um, so you'll want to have some more things to play with. And so we'll go to the square here. Click the plus icon. And then you'll click photos or files if you save it to like your drive or whatever. Um, and once you get them in there, they should look like this. They'll come up and appear just like this. So if I grab one of them and I start applying, automatically they should be looking pretty cool. And then you can change the intensity by dragging this slider up and down. You can change it so they kind of extrude much more. Uh, and of course we can subtract them. So if we hold down sub here, we can make cool indents. So very easy to just immediately start adding very cool details. Let me tone that down a little bit, just like this. I want to make this character kind of like a rock, rocky formation. And just without even switching out the alphas at all, you can make a very dynamic looking piece of art here. Um, and it just really creates a, uh, a nice head start for you to start working on some kind of characters, island scene, whatever you really need. Um, so that's pretty much it. And then from here, you can just keep going and uh, sculpting create a, another one. There's one of these here that's like a crater. And uh, just right off the bat, you can start making some really cool details. Um, and so that's it, guys. Pretty much uh, it's the stamp tool. Add the alphas over there, and then uh, you're good to go.